I'm not going to dictate exactly how many days, uh, but I believe that they should try to get five days if they can. What I would, don't want to see is city school kids at a competitive disadvantage to suburban and private school kids who are going to go back five days a week. Cincinnati Mayor John Cranley announces today he wants to see kids back in the classroom this fall, and he doesn't agree with Cincinnati Public's decision to do it only two or three days a week. Cranley wants to see students in school for all five. Medical reporter Liz Bonus shares why he may get support from the American Academy of Pediatrics. Hey guys, hello to you. It has certainly been a hot topic for discussion, benefit versus risk when it comes to kids going back into the classroom. The American Academy of Pediatrics says that kids need to be physically present in school when it starts back up in the fall. The group has updated its recommendations. Now this comes as states nationwide begin to unveil their plans for getting students back to school. The Academy says that evidence shows the academic, mental and physical benefits of in-person learning outweigh the risks from coronavirus. The group added that schools are probably not greatly amplifying the spread of the virus and children are less likely to become extremely sick from COVID-19 than adults. By the way, one other reason that they may have made this decision has to do with recommendations in how kids learn. And this decision was made because of something really important. Listen to this. Uh, we do know from early research that students retained one third of the amount of information than they did prior with remote learning. But where's that balance of going back to school, doing remote learning, or a combination of both? And so we'll see what happens, see what it tells, but the COVID crisis is not just medical, it's financial, and it, and it permeates throughout society many different ways. These, of course, are tough decisions, but important ones in getting back to balance, the AAP says, will clearly make a difference not just in saving lives, but in building a healthy future. I'm medical reporter Liz Bonus. Now back to you. Liz, thank you.